Look at me, can't stop. Whoop. Look at me, I'm on. 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 Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Look at me, I'm on. 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 Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. OMG, I don't get pressed. Look at me, I've been on set since 17. I've been on set, I'm settling. I'm going numb, it fed on me. I don't do drugs, I'm not a fiend. Push it to the edge, no boundary. About two or three in these leather jeans. Look at me, flex. Tied in my flesh. Never end, dead. Now I'm up, next. Hit for the checks. Plenty flow, wet. Look at me, I'm on. Look at me, I'm next. Look at me, I'm on. Touchdown and zone. Home run, Barry Barnes. Can't stop, keep going. Look at me, I'm on. Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome back, welcome back to the White T-Shirt Media live stream. Coming to you from the streets, bringing the action straight to you, wherever you decide to watch it. How's everybody doing on this wonderful Tuesday? After a much needed Monday off, we are back. We missed you guys. We hoped you missed us. We are once again live coming to you from the streets. We are just getting caught up on all the scanner traffic guys trying to see what's going on here in Bakersfield, California. Trying to get the lay of the land, see what we've been missing. Thank you guys for jumping on. And hanging out with us. My name is Bobby. I'll be your designated driver this evening. So you guys can feel free to do as you like. And we will safe, safely escort you around town. Miss Nicole will be the... Be the chat supervisor tonight, as always. The wonderful Miss Nicole. She is the queen of live streams, and she's the queen of my heart. What, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about that later. Huh? Huh? Good evening, guys. Hi, Donna. Hey, Monterey. Hi, Sherry. Midnight. Smokey. Dirt track, Deanna. Hi, Chris. Howdy, Jimmy. Hi, Kimberly, Kathy, Becky, Cooter, Yanni. Hi, Jen, Steve, Canty, Dory, Elizabeth. Thank you for the share, Kathy. Hi, Shashi. Yeah, guys, share it, share it. Likes, thumbs up, shares. Let everybody know we are on. Good let's evening, get, Juliana. Let's get everybody involved. Lori Elizabeth. Carrie. Hi, Kevin. Nicole, ground not floor. Brenda, Steve, Peter, Keith. What's up, Tonka? Scott, Sandra, Brenda. Ashley, Elizabeth. Lori, Doreen. What's up, Greg? Marcos, Kelly, welcome. Hi, Sumisu. Hi, Darla, Karina, Coach Karen, Lioness, Holly, Olin, good evening. Hi, Kiss Metten. Sandra, Tammy. What's up, Tony? Hey, Kenny. Good evening, Christopher. No, Christopher, you support just by watching. Hit the like button. That'll help us out. Hi, Carrie. Tammy, thank you for the share. Hi, Dan. April. Good evening. Hi, Sheena. Thank you for the share, Sheena. 
What's up, Richard? Making it rain. Hello. Yes, we are on YouTube tonight. Yes. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. Hi, Deborah. How you doing, Honda for Life? Hi, Denise, Jennifer. Moose, baby girl. Good to see you. Gordis, Evelyn, Deborah, thank you so much for those shares. Chester, 23rd. Hi, Ramona, Joni. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, Juan. Hey, Higgy. Kim, thank you for that share. Hi, Liz. Samantha, thank you for the share. Hi, Mandy. Randy, damn if I know. Brett, yours truly. Good evening. Hey, Chris. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Karen, Brian, Georgina. Hi, Bonnie. Brian, thank you for the share. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> we do have a very sad update on the dog. Um, I got it yesterday, and I went to type it out for you guys, but I just couldn't I couldn't find the right words. Um, but they did have to put the dog to sleep. They said the injuries were far too extensive, that um, her pelvis was completely crushed, and she was paralyzed. So there was nothing they could do for her. Yeah. I was crying like all day yesterday. Yeah, they had to put her down, man. Poor girl. Yeah, I seen that, Brian. It didn't affect me. My Facebook was fine. I don't know if it was like before I got up. Copy, engine 30186, All dogs do go to heaven. That is true. Uh, Bonnie, there was a dog la a couple nights ago that we, Friday night. we had come across that had just been run over by a car. Hi, Emo. No, I'm sorry, guys. I felt so bad. I didn't even want to tell you. That's true. She's not suffering except hot dogs. How you doing, Teo? Hi, Ivan. I know. I've been thinking about her every day, too. I had my heart set on picking her up. Yeah, but I gave our, do I gave our dogs a big hug. Yeah, I did, too. Hi, funny frog. Good evening, ladybug. Angels are giving her the only chance she had. Okay, Granny Karen. <clears throat> uh, enjoyed the first flight stream. Good evening, Norm. I figured they did. I didn't want to say anything when you couldn't get info. You did everything you could. Yeah, but it still sucks, Hi, you know? Yeah, it does. Hey, Sandra. Hi, Vicki. Good evening, Christopher. Hi, Rhonda. You you would only wish in life that you could find a friend as loyal as a dog. Yeah. Nice post this afternoon, Bobby. Oh, from the flight? Yeah, I took a couple little small 30-second clips or whatever. Hi, Harry. It's kind of hard to do when you're flying a plane. I'm not set up inside the plane to do all that stuff. Uh, yeah, we're trying to get up to the car fire now. Yeah, we are. Uh, are you okay, Brett? Dogs just walk around trying to make the world a better place. That's it. Just out being dogs. 
Judy Shall be in happy dogs. Hi, Judy. Uh, worst thing is that the euthanize healthy dogs too makes me angry. Yeah, I won't go to shelters because I can't stand to see them there. I can see what you mean when you compare the plane to an old VW bug. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Patriot. Hi, Angela. Good evening, Rebel. Margaret, thank you for the share. Oh, come on. What's up, Travis? We had a plane crash today here in Nashville, block from Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. Oh, that's terrible. I seen that. Like right after I got home, I got the notification for that, and I was like, "Oh damn!" Oh, Nicole, don't see that. You guys, uh, all we gotta do is make this turn, and we'll be two blocks away from this vehicle fire. We're trying to get over there. Uh, we're subject to these lights. That's our, our one enemy out here. I hate car fires because you want to see them, but by the time you get there, you know, you usually don't get to see anything. Uh, why does it seem like so many planes are crashing lately? Maybe uh, we're just hearing about it more? I don't know. Maybe there's more people flying. Hi, Simo. Check the welfare for Leslie. I mentioned she was possibly in possession of a butcher knife. Thank you for the share, Juan. At low traffic times, the traffic lights need to blink red and function like a stop sign. That would be awesome. Yep, that would. Today, my wife was sad because she, when she watched the video, she thought Bobby went back to work. <laughs> no. I just laughed and laughed at her. I think a few people thought that. It's coming, but not yet. <clears throat> You know what, Ivan? I'm not sure if we'll be live Friday. I know he has to leave really early Saturday morning. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Hi, little man. Good evening, Steve. And it's out. Yeah, it's out. She's like, how dare you, Liz? Hey, Mario. Let's see what's going on here. Hi, Tim. Hey, Nathan. Good evening, DJ. Moving is checking out head tunnel underneath the eastbound with a parkway trucks and off ramp. Hey, do I Yeah, someone's car caught on fire. That sucks. There, yes, it does. It was a car fire, Nathan. Odor is on scene. Did you start hard, man? BBD. Good night, midnight. Happy. Can you advise me for PD? They're going to request. Yeah, they got it out, though. That's a good thing. Walking the roadway, we need to tell. No, I don't think it's a Tesla. No, it looks like an old, uh, maybe a Z71. Hey, Mona. Yeah, it looks like an old, uh, Z71. 924? Or, yeah, maybe an old 924. Figure out a way to keep your phone on for me. That way my battery goes dead? Well. I got you, baby. <clears throat> Porsche tail lights? Yeah, it might be an older model Porsche, the old hatchback kind. Uh, Z71 BMW? Uh, 
Good evening, Russell. What's up, Josh? Control one, inmate service four. I am 1097 Kid Bus. I'll be 1019 Delero. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Philip. Hi, Krista. It's a crispy porch now. Yeah, a dude was probably working on it, man. That sucks. Four attending, I'll be in round two via assist fire. Hi, Hippie. So they're calling out police because the vehicle's blocking the run, the roadway. So they'll have to call out and then dispatch a tow. Hi, Suzanne. Suzanne in. Hi, Which Jeanette. sucks. Yeah, dude was probably working on it. It's probably his project. Good evening, Rob. Please still give them a parking ticket. That would suck. Yeah, no kidding. Come in route with four Metro Four. Right down on Chester, guys. Twenty third and Chester. Right downtown. Yes, Rebel. Unfortunately, she was put to sleep. Hi, Tommy. I'm not sure, Debbie, but it caught on fire. Hey, Becky. He said he was driving small gas. Hands off the freeway and he saw flames. Good evening, Alex. Hi, Sherry. Uh, vehicle fire. Hey, Jimbo. Uh, her injuries were too extensive. <clears throat> That's scary. I had one catch on fire on me once. Had no idea what to do except get out of the car. Yeah. I think that's all you can do, right? DB said forgot to put water in the radiator. Probably had an old fuel line that either rotted or maybe came loose or something like that. It was leaking on the uh, exhaust manifold somewhere. I did save my groceries. Hi, Papa Rob. Hey, baby. I made contact with engine one. I'm going to go ahead and complete. Got to complete 1945. Hi, Diane. Thank you. A big group of thieves hit the trains about two hours ago. Amazon trailer is bad. Officers caught two or three of them, but the rest I'm not sure about. They would hide. Then when the officer would pull up, they'd head further Hello, up the track. You see them getting there. right back in them. Uh, What's up, McLovin? female left. believe she's not at the residence for attempting further. Crackheads, man. Crackheads. I know, 007. I wondered if we would have, like, been able to take her to a hospital ourselves, if we would have been able to do anything more for her, but... Hi, Tracy. Hey, Angela. Or 
Jen, Lava Lab, Larry, good evening, Rebecca. What's up, Captain Lincoln? He's rolling up the hose. Hi, Bubba. At least he got out of the way, away from others on the freeway, yeah. Yeah, he's just sitting there talking with the traffic officer now. There are no old Porsches, only new owners. <laughs> nice. It was a vehicle fire, Rebecca, but it's out. Yeah, sorry, just signed William. No, he was just uh, flying like a small plane. Evening, Butters. Hi, Gina. Hey, Bowen. Good evening, Joe. Well, they're just going to sit here and wait for a tow truck. Yep. Situation. Oh, it was a vehicle fire, M. Hey, busted. Hey, audible. Hi, Chris. Hi, Tina. 401, 10-4. What's wrong, baby? Cat got your tongue? Oh, boy, looks like he's calling for a ride, so. Yeah, it is, Joe. Hi, Phoebe. Evening, town. Phoebe's back. She's been popping in. Miss her. Good evening, Rose. Hi, Robin. Um, not usually, Philip, no. As long as you stay out of their way and don't, like, interfere, they're okay. Howdy, Ruger. Hi, Lois. Oh, man. We're back at it, baby. Back at it. Oh, Phoebe's going home the 14th. That's good news, Phoebe. I'm need, sure Odin is like... You need to get home, girl. You need to get home. Has Have you been able to see Odin, Phoebe? Do they have low ja jacks on cop trucks? I would think so, but I don't know for sure. 
Hey, Kelly. Hi, Mitch. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, I know, Mitch. Hey, Kathleen. A Bravo Burgers? Is there a Bravo Burgers from Bakersfield? I can't hear you. This is in my ear. Hold on. A what? Bravo Burgers from Bakersfield. I've never heard of it. No. It can't be that good if I have never heard of it. I don't think we have one. Six Charles around to the two forty two until you put one. Oh, they're tick talking. Are you tick talking? <laughs> <laughs> Are you tick talking? <laughs> hey, Muse. Thoughts on a red 2018 Honda four door. Shush your fur again. Shows to be expired in 2022. However, registration status shows that. 2808 um, Union in Oregon. Yeah, I know. Metro 6, not to the 211 alarm. Metro 6 to 4, 26 shots back. Hi, Mister. All right, possible structure fire. Let's go see. Let's go see. So excited to see you, Phoebe. Evening, Johnny. Thank you. Here What's comes up, the ladder in? truck. Here comes the ladder truck. I don't see any smoke. Well, I hope it's not. It's Smith's Bakery. Uh, it's probably just a homeless fire next to the building or something. Smith's Bakery's been there for a lot of years. Hi, so. Dennis. Go, come on, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Good job, good job. Now you're moving forward. Good evening, Christy. So, yeah, so starting Saturday, guys, we're going to be doing a fundraiser. What? Starting Saturday, we're going to be doing a fundraiser. I'm going to go back to work and raise some funds. Oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. I was like, what? We didn't talk about this? Yeah, I gotta go back to work and raise some <laughs> funds. Thank you for the share, Christy. Hey, Wendy. Hi, HW. Did you hear about the explosion fire in Detroit where fire trucks went up? A teenager was killed by a canister a quarter mile away. What? When was this? I didn't see that. How you doing, Mona? What's up, Middle Ground? Hi, 
Have you ever flown over Arvin and seen the different colored pop fields? Well, we were, I was over Arvin today. It looks like a um, giant checkerboard. Yeah. Yeah, I was over Arvin today. I was over. I was over uh, the grapevine, over Arvin. The fire is right after we make this turn, guys, but I'm not seeing any smoke. No, and then they just radioed nothing showing. Hi, Rhonda. Happened yesterday? I'm going to have to look it up. Hey, Robin. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome. Green Acres, this is Bakersfield, California. Go ahead. I believe so, Philip. I know it's definitely all over California. Yeah. No, I say nothing. No, there's nothing. Um, Jason, no, when he goes back to work, we um, take the whole month off that he's at work, and then we start up as soon as he gets home. Hey, Dina. Yeah, there ain't nothing. So we stream every other month. Good evening, Jenny. Oh man, Jenny, I had that surgery. You doing okay? Oklahoma too, Stubby. Guys swinging a knife around over on F Street. I figured. Uh, I figured turning on a red, turning right on a red was everywhere, but turning right on red. Yeah, Philip was saying in Australia they don't do that. Hi, Sherlock. Yeah, white male, uh, last seen toward the mobile, waving a large knife around. Let me see if we can find him. Yeah. Oh, I guess in New York you don't turn right on reds. Unless there's a rarely posted sign. Ours, uh, you can unless it's posted otherwise. Yeah. Hi, Stubby. Hey. Hey, Timothy. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joy. Engine 5, coaching out of the lane. 24. 
Sort of cooperative um, RP, PPs, and we'll hear that. I'm not verifying. Excuse me, Renee. Last scene right there. Well, that way. There's one guy sitting on the side of the store. And then there's one, one guy right there. Just I tried to check the welfare of a female. She's at 68 East White Lane, number 24. Continues to dial 911. Met will also be responding and standby for additional units. She is advising now she's suicidal. That's okay, Holly. Welcome back. Stand by for a Met 11, control 2. Registration will be current. Met 11, if you can respond with units to 68 East White Lane, number 24. It's going to be for a check the welfare female as I shared suicidal ideations with no means provided via first of Selena. Stand by until code 4 to move in. What's up, Dean? Can you leave it for these situations? Met 11, can you 1090 the address again? Code 2. It's 68 East White Lane, road 24. 24. Send my copy. Good evening, Nancy. Well, they're coming in hot. Yes, they are. Control one, I think it was that dude over there, though. Because they said he was, he was just chilling, though. <clears throat> they said he was headed towards the mobile. So we were looking for a guy that was seen uh, waving a knife around. What's up, Kick Rocks? White male, right? Okay, yeah. yeah, white male. Is it this dude right here? Like he was looking at a phone or something. What's up, Timothy? New dollar store tent issues. Hi, Donna. No, that's a really... Oh, they're, they're stopping that guy right there. Yeah. Uh-oh. Engine four, go ahead. AP3 has been notified via cell phone. It was him. I told you, baby. Well, not necessarily. They're just stopping to ask him. He's walking away from him. Maybe he got nervous. It kind of hopped out on him. I don't know. Giving him the benefit of the doubt here. He's got his taser out. Look, he's got his taser out. Well, yeah, if he has a knife and he's waving it around, they have to be safe. Come on, dude. Don't be stupid. Good evening, David. Come on, truck move. Uh, thank you for the share, Ed. 
Come on, truck. Yeah, what was it, Jason? We're going to pull into this gas station, guys, see if we can get around these vehicles. Get you a better shot. Hi, Roberta. What's up, Jeffrey? He's being uncooperative, but not aggressive, guys. We've been to calls in that car and fire parking lot, Dina, quite a few times. Let's see, he's still got the knife in his possession, guys. He's not He's not threatening, but he's being uncooperative. They're going to have to tackle him down. They're going to either tase him or shoot him if um, you don't comply. There was reports of him walking around waving a large knife in the air, Randy. Not aggressive yet, you mean. Greetings, Donnie. They're under code, guys. They're code 33 right now. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Brandy. Hey, Cat. Oh. oh, 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 they got him down, they got him down, they got him down. He's still kind of... Hi, Donald. Oh, they did the old, they did the old <laughs> triangle on him. Good job, guys. Good job. They didn't have to shoot him. He was armed. They did not have to shoot him. Good job, good job. That could have turned bad real quick for somebody, you know what I mean? He could just be having a bad day, but... What's up, Indian? Um, we would have to go back and see Brandy. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Hi, Northwoods. Um, Bobby, you guys could do a teaser or handcuff emoji for members. Yeah, you to work on some. I'll work on some. You guys, I've been so busy, and when I when I don't have nothing to do, I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> but I'll pick my game up. Good job repositioning to get the shot. Well, I didn't want to like get out and have the big camera out there and you know risk being in crossfire or anything like that 
controller. Brandy, if you want to message me to remind me, I will try to go back and, and see. You can message me on um, White T-shirt Facebook Messenger or email me. I'll put the email address on the screen right now. It's on the top of the screen. That's a good job by the officers, though. Really was showed a lot of restraint. Cause that got, that could have got messy quick. That guy looked weak, folded like a cheap lawn chair. <laughs> yeah, he did. I didn't even see him sneak out, sneak around him. Ten nineteen west. It's ten nineteen west. Ten four. Nope. I'm sure she said walk. Cable unit to respond to ten nineteen west for a four fifteen domestic in the parking lot. Cable unit to respond to ten nineteen west for a four fifteen domestic in the parking lot. Cable unit to respond to 19 West for a 415 domestic in the parking lot. Cable unit to respond to 19 West for a 415 domestic in the parking lot. Cable unit to respond to 19 West for a 415 domestic in the parking lot. Cable unit to respond to 19 West for a 415 domestic. Uh, we'll be leaving from 1000. Uh, 1019 West? There's no 1019 Watts. Uh, Watts and Cotton. 1019 Watts. I'll find out. West Street's over here by Niles. Call, 
Left on Baker. Left on Baker, right on Kentucky. Left on Williams. I'm gonna see if I can find it, Jason. Oh, it was at an industrial facility. Did something with vape pens, canisters, pieces of canisters, glass, and metal. We're blown everywhere. Jeez. Good evening, Ronnie. Hi, Tuffy. Hey, Kimya. Good evening, Cards of Ontario. Hi, Siha. Hi, Joan. West ends at Kentucky. Those North. 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 I know, but. Hey, Debbie. How how many is it on the other side of Niles or? Yeah, there's some terrible roads here. She's moving the car now. Hi, Dave. Good evening, Sunflower. You want terrible roads driving Spokane, Washington. There's some pretty bad ones in Bakersfield, for sure. That call, that call ain't gonna pan out. I don't know.
I'm gonna pull this way so we can get some gas. Okay. Where? Yeah, that's that guy. Oh. That's that Hi, guy Kevin. that just got took down. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, Joe. Um, yeah, Holly, the the dog was put to sleep. They said the injuries were too extensive. Why does he need medical? For being took down? Yeah. They always do that just to ensure his safety. Samantha. Richard and Kevin and Rhonda, thank you guys for the gas donations. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. 
Dollars later, we're full. It's four sixty nine where I live. I drive to Reno to get gas. It's one thirty a gallon cheaper. Gas can with me. <laughs> this was uh four dollars and forty three cents, okay. guys. And we got just under eighteen gallons. We got seventeen point something gallons. Well, that's the cost of doing business. One of these days we'll be rich. We won't have to worry about the, the petty cash. <laughs> oh, petty cash. We're going to be rich and famous, folks. We're going to be rich and famous. We're taking all you guys with us. You guys can all work at the, the I would never, rescue ever, ever animal. Want to be famous. You guys can all work at the rescue animal shelter. We're going to build for Miss Nicole. I will definitely Nicole. do that. Yes. And whoever's good with paperwork, I will definitely need that too. <laughs> whoever's good with paperwork can do the clerical stuff and get all the license required for the, all the exotic animals. Because we're not just doing dogs and cats. We're winners. We're doing lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, we're going to hit it hard. As long as you live in California, you will always have a petty cash problem. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Debbie. <laughs> Beth does clerical. She said, let's go. Let's do this. Uh. Me and me, I'm a detail woman. I am not a detail person. Rhonda will do paperwork too. Yeah, we need a tax person Thank too. Thank you, Jason. I'll we're, check it out. We're going to need a tax person. Someone good, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> there ain't nothing worse than making a bunch of money and then handing it over to the government. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need all the help we can get. Jeez, two forty-five for gas in Texas two days ago. Yeah, I keep seeing these. Uh, I think they're either TikTok or <clears throat> YouTube Shorts or Facebook Shorts or something. But uh, it says stuff like, you know, what two hundred fifty thousand dollars buys you in Texas, and they show this like huge home with granite floors and walk-in showers. And I'm like, man. I'm an accountant and I'll do taxes. Filled up a couple days ago, 285 a gallon. We need some of that. Yeah, we need some of that action. I'd be driving around with barrels in the back of my truck. <laughs> 55 gallon drums tied down full of gas. Hi, Casey. I'll volunteer to work with the dogs. I'll come in and spoil the animals. I'm a good grandma. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Just spoil the babies. Just spoil them, man. Let them, let them be animals, dude. Let them be dogs. Let them be cats. Let them be, you know, animals. Hi, Julius. Just let them run around with their tongue hanging out their mouth. Just, <laughs> just all happy, all excited. They'll, they'll run up to you and be like, 
Did you see how fast I was running? Did you see how fast I was? They'll be all happy. But in Texas, to get those prices, you'll be living in the middle of nowhere or some little boring town. I like nowhere. It's no different in Texas. What's up, totally? If I lived out in the middle of nowhere, the first thing I'd have to get is like a, a bulldozer or a grater. That way I can make my airstrip. Huh? Yeah. Make my runway out there in the front yard. <laughs> Internet says Texas is cheap. It's really not. Same crap. They just take your money in different ways. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Texas minimum wage is seven twenty-five. That's not great. Rhonda, thank you so much for those gifted memberships. Yeah, I'll tell you right now though, if I had some if I had some land and it was relatively flat. I'd be out there, I'd be out there cutting me a, a landing strip. What's up, Azoria? I need about a thousand foot. <laughs> Bobby would fit right in in Texas. He already has the accent. <laughs> I, I need about, I need about a thousand foot of good runway. You know what I mean? And probably about. 1500 foot total because I don't want to have to deal with obstacles right at the end of the runway. I have to climb over. You gotta get more aggressive during takeoff. Good evening, Travis. Thank you for the show. No federal income tax, but high property tax. We can fly around and check on all the animals. I'll stay on the ground. You can uh, fly and check them. Oh, yeah, but you got to keep the tigers separate. Yeah. You know? Then we got to plant a bunch of trees. We'll use it for a drag ship on the weekends. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Tyson. And we got to we gotta plant a bunch of trees for all the monkeys and stuff. I'm not sure what happened, one, but we take Monday nights off, so that's why we weren't out. Hi, R. He does, Shirley, but he's not. No way, Beth. Here in Bakersfield, the guy that's always on his drums? Drummer boy was robbed of his drum that plays at the corner out there. Someone's getting him a new one. I always see him. I was just telling the girls the other day we drove past him. I'm like, I see him every time I drive this corner. He's sitting there or in the middle playing that drum. Hi, Kurt. That's terrible, Beth. Crackheads, man. Copy on the text. Please, David, Anna, Diva, 1096, Honda, Y, Mercedes, Sedan. Evening, Damama. Uh, when do you leave out of town, Bobby? Saturday. That's really nice of you, Ash. Yep, Saturday we start the white t-shirt media fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shut down for about a month, a little over a month, month and a week. That way we can uh, pay bills like respectable citizens. Hi, Caden. Good evening, Judy. They did. They got a candlelight for that kid that got killed right there. Yeah, yeah I see it. Control on Metro 6. So young. Trapped up. Metro 6. 4105121. California plate 8. Neighbor 198. 94. Be 
Um, no, we haven't, Jim. Uh, we can tell you just based off of like where most of the calls. Wait a minute, I seen some. Are um, are. But no, we've never done like a survey. Hold on, guys. I don't know what was going on. But these two might have been fighting in the parking lot. We're gonna go back and check it out. January says I live in Texas, Austin, Texas. Very expensive, horrible infrastructure. 250. Ha ha ha. Average is about 635. Have to move way outside Austin to get anything under 250. Okay, let me check Becky. 14, log off that. What did you see? Well, that one dude was standing in the parking lot and he had his hands like kind of out at his sides, like, what's up? And then, oh, I think he was just talking to those people. Never mind. <coughs> I tried. I tried. I'm paying attention. Becky, thank you so much for that uh, donation, babe. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, Cheryl. Thursday will be the last stream. If you leave early Saturday morning. I don't know yet. We haven't decided yet, Sunflower. We might go out Friday night. I don't know. I, don't know. I hate it, guys. I mean, uh, you know. It's just the way it goes. What can you do? Dog down on what, baby? Yeah, he is, Daryl. Um, he works in the oil fields, Harley. Daniel, yeah, they said it was a, a 242 and... No, 
273.5. Oh, sorry. 273.5 and one shot was fired. Thank you, Daryl. Safe travels and prayers. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, I'll tell your uh, nephew we said happy birthday, Samantha. BB said they sold the entire East Coast oil wells today. Really? said two guys shot at him no injuries and he's leaving and he's refusing to say where he's going so it's so there's no point in going there yeah it's that's over that's annoying yeah uh the kids are good david Excuse me. Lincoln Harbor 3 on tonight, Shenandoah Merritt. Lincoln Harbor 3, 104. Information only for RMS, second half. This possible address, 1805, California. Losers. <laughs> 4 9, You don't have any waters, babe? No, I told you. Oh. Hi, Carrie. That's called I know who did it and I will get them back. Yeah, that's exactly what that was. Like you don't worry about it, I got this. You know what I mean? Yeah. They shot at me, that's one thing, but where they really messed up is they missed. You know what I mean? You, you should have got me. Because now it's on. Two eight two zero M for a man down. He's there. Oh. On location.
So I think this traffic collision is on the freeway. It's on the bridge. Oh, on the bridge. We are two miles out, guys. Who was asking if Air One was available? BPD. To fly over that demerit call. Oh, okay. Minor? Yeah. No, Hi, Jen. Angry. Hi, Dennis. How many times have we been to an accident on this bridge? A couple times. Quite a few times. It looks like they can just drive off. Yeah, they probably could have got away with just exchanging information. Maybe it's worse or something that I'm not seeing, but... No. It's not worse? <laughs> no contact into the driver's side door, but nobody's... Christine, thank you so much for that donation. We appreciate it. Thank you. Also, guys, um, we have an anonymous donation to give away two T-shirts tonight. So we'll be uh, we'll be doing that. Awesome. So thank you so much to the anonymous donor. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, speaking of that, that just reminded me, uh, Carrie. Yeah, it's the Carrie, the girl that won the hoodie the other night, uh, never did send us an email with her address, so we have been unable. So if you're to send watching, it to Carrie, her. please send us your address. Hi, Natalie. I thought it was going to be a good call, but uh, we went to a call one time right there where, remember the car flipped over on its side? We've been to quite a few right there. Yeah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, not the carry from the movie. Start those when we get on next time. Um, send me a message, Ladybug, if you can, on Facebook Messenger, just so I can verify to make sure that that was done. The call we just left was a um, minor two vehicle, traffic accident. yeah, two vehicle collision, but it was pretty minor. I know this is random weird. I have a gift of insight. And Bobby, you recently gave a person very honorable advice. I want to thank you for your moral value. Timing is fluid, so if this hasn't happened, it will. Well, I appreciate it, but I wonder what my advice was. I don't know. Well, hi, Casey. Thanks anyway. Bobby's birthday is. The 11th. Yeah. Hi, Sean. <laughs> it's on Monday. I leave. I leave Saturday morning. My birthday's on Monday. Happy birthday to me. I feel like you always me. leave right before your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> like you get to see mine and then you're gone. You're just going to have to perform a couple days early, baby. What? Shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh, Casey. I, My heart goes out to you. Hugs. I will definitely keep you guys in my prayers. Your birthday's Tuesday. No. Smoked pasta is the good advice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy early birthday. No, man. is it Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Are you sure? I don't know. Well, Saturday's the 9th, right? I look at the, the map. The... Saturday's the 9th. I will check it. Monday, yeah. Monday. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, still. Happy future birthday, Bobby. Well, thank you. We're getting old, folks. We're happy getting birthday, old. Catherine. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay, this was a man down. Yeah. He's all the in the ambulance. Do Happy early birthday, Bobby. I knew I liked Bobby for a reason. Pisces, we know everything. That's right. <laughs> Happy early birthday, Crown Royal. Bobby will be uh, 46. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I will be 46. I do, Rhonda. It's okay. And What's up, Ralphie? I know you guys are wondering, and uh, I'll tell you right now, it, it wasn't easy, but I know a lot of you guys are wondering how... Can you be awesome 46 years in oh a row? Oh my gosh. Right? Sometimes when you start to say something, I just know. I'm like, please just shut your mouth now. <laughs> Don't continue your thoughts. Yeah, I've had to maintain. <laughs> I've had to maintain awesomeness for 46 years in a row. And I tell you, it was a lot of work. You know what I mean? Some people got it. Some people don't. Happy early birthday, but be sure to use the portable quote I sent you. You guys are some young and grandparents. Yeah. That boy ain't right. <laughs> huh. God damn it, Bobby. Oh gosh. That boy ain't right. Someone needs to talk to that fella. Just sit him down and really talk to him. He has Bobby's thoughts. <laughs> Oh, 
Bobby, it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> yeah, 46, well, Samantha. You guys, I don't care if you celebrate with me, but just go easy on me when I fail miserably. Let me 1014 back out to the residence starting 1.3. 1014 back out to the all the greatest people are born in March. Let's get a, a, a idea. Oh my goodness, Bobby, your rhetoric saved you just one of my sons. Happy early birthday. Do you remember Rawhide on TV? Yeah. Let's cruise oil down real quick. Okay. The takedown was, um, somebody called and said that he was walking around waving a large knife in the air. Ralphie? And he's, and when police arrived, he still had the knife in his possession. He was being uncooperative, not hostile, but uncooperative to commands. So they, uh, went code 33 and they kind of did a triangle around him and then all three officers detained him and, and got him to the ground and got him handcuffed. Without uh, without firing a shot, without having to deploy a taser or anything like that, they just, they subdued him, got him down. So best thing that could have happened for everybody. <laughs> Both Pisces, lots of emotions in that house. Happy birthday, Bobby. <laughs> The cop was pretty slick. That's way up there. Hi, Jolie. Happy birthday to your twins. Hi, Leonardo. People are out. Knives are weak, man. Machetes are where it's at. Machetes are the, the go to tool. Happy birthday, April. Anybody who ever watched Crocodile Dundee should know that, huh? She says, just give him your wallet. He has a knife. He's like, a knife? That's not a knife. Good night, Karen. Okay. Oh, to Hunter, what? Shasta? 
They've already went down the street right here. Was it just a bunch of juveniles being rowdy? A bunch of kids fighting? Uh. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate you saying that. Hit in the street, okay? Well, he got up now, but. Are they play fighting? Baby, I don't know. The cops ain't gonna think so. Is 
Engine 1, go ahead. Um, it was a bunch of juveniles fighting. It looks like they're just play fighting to me. I, I want to see if they run when the cops pull up. That's true, Monterey. And here they come. This car pulling up is the law. I just want to make sure the one that was sitting on the corner is okay. Because his jacket was in the middle of the street. Well, they didn't run. And somebody called and said a bunch of kids were fighting. El Tajon and Shasta. They didn't run. In oil dough. Okay, right. Subject was fleeing northbound to the complex at 2045. Hi, Kelly. Uh, he advised the black bike. Uh, Send them on their way. Yep, told them take your yeah, butts home. They look like they were play fighting to me too, though. Know? Except for the one kid that was sitting on the corner and his jacket was in the street, I'm not sure what the deal was with that. Negative on a 242. I just want to see if they'd run. And them their boys had an Amish haircut. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 10 o'clock OG. For minors. They have a curfew? California's always had a 10 o'clock curfew for minors. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they like... 
enforce it. Enforce it, but they have one. I got in trouble for a curfew ticket when I was a kid, I remember. And my mom yelled at the cops. She's Leave like, I know where she, I know where she where she was. She's supposed to be out right now. You don't tell me how to raise my kids. Yeah, you know my mom. Yeah. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I was like, Mom, just stop. Let's let go. it go. Let's go. Just let it go. <clears throat> it was a girl, Johnny, on the ground. It's okay, I have an after hours curfew. <laughs> doing Sean my kids are both in the late 20s I'm off duty that's right I got one more left I don't feel like I'm off duty even with the adults Six, Paul Robert, eight, seven, zero, six, me too Dina Expired January of this year, 2001, Saturn, Fort Ord, Ridgecrest. Four, eight, fifty-eight. The wives may have removed second half. We're going eastbound on Panama Lane, Plus Reno, White, Fort Focus. Old Oildale. This is Joanne. My teenager's upstairs because I refuse to grow up in oil dial. He would have been in that video just now. My little girl. They think it's cool to organize fights. We moved our kids out of oil dial like right before middle and high school. Yeah. We were a bit worried about it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't count it, Bowler. I wake up every day grateful I don't have kids. <laughs> I bet you sleep better at night, Flathead. Oh, Chunk loves Miss Rachel, too. Miss Rachel? Yeah. Who's that? She does, like, kid videos. Oh, okay. Hi, Mark. Yeah, you know, guys, I went out and flew uh, this morning, and uh, I forgot it was Chunk's gymnastics day. So I missed gymnastics today. But I had to take the truck and take the cameras out. But yeah, I got up and I I I got up and I was just about finished with uh, with everything we had on the agenda, and I had some time left. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna fly over the house circle the house a few times and FaceTime uh, Chunk and tell her go outside and look up and see Pawpaw flying around the top of the house. So I, I FaceTime I FaceTime Nicole when I got over the house and I was doing circles and I FaceTime Nicole and she was over at the gymnastics.
Hi, Tabitha. And I did confirm that you can put a car seat in an airplane. What's the point? What, for what reason? <laughs> what do you mean? That's just pointless. What would you need a car seat in an airplane for? Like a booster seat. Like, no, but you... if the airplane's going down, that car seat ain't going to save that baby. It might. No, it will not. Nope. You don't know. Yes, <laughs> So I can get Tao and Chunk, load them up, no. drive over to the airport, you know what I mean? And then go fly yeah, around. A parachute car seat? No. Baby, just because you don't know how to fly an airplane doesn't mean <laughs> I don't know You're not taking those babies. <laughs> You're God. not. God. I wouldn't trust you if you were flying it either, baby, but you, <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's Hi, why, Joyce. that you know what I mean? A bumpy landing, yeah. Did your plane have a parachute? Huh? Did your plane have a parachute? Uh, no, but I can. It take... really doesn't. No, but I can take one with me if I wanted. Control one, inmate service four, ten ninety seven, get bus. My ending mileage. Bobby, you are never getting off this kid with kids in your plane. Mileage two thousand three hundred and eighty four. Yes, I am. 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 No. Oh, First four. time we go up. Hey, between me and Faith, do you really think? I'll wake him up early in the morning and take <laughs> off. <with them. laughs> they sleep with us. <laughs> well, I'll figure something out. If the world was run by grandpas, that would be a great idea, Bobby. But as long as we have no say, it's just a pipe dream. Riley said she'll go. Riley will go. Lexi will go. <laughs> Did she say that? Lex? Yeah. Lex will go with me. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Hey, don't even. Don't. Don't go there. I won't burst the bubble, but. Don't. Hi, Texas. 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 Why don't they um, enforce it, Texas? California 9, King David, 273 on a gray Honda Civic. Keep driving, stop. Confirm 9, 2, David, 273, you cut out. Uh, it'll be 9, King, King, David, 273. You should have told her there was at least a tail parachute on the plane. That's an arson investigator. Hold on, guys. Okay. Same, Dina. Good night, Tuck. Did Lex tell you I made her drive home the other day? She didn't tell me you made her. She said she What's up, Jesse? Fired February 28th of this year, 1998, or out of Wasco with a release of liability out of Bakersfield to Chelsea Laura, last for 1484. I can hear you say, don't make me pull this plane over here. Hold on. Okay. 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 How old is she, Tina? All right, so 
just drove by and seen this guy. This is an arson investigator. And he was talking to a guy that's staying in this burned down building. Nice place. Wonder what the rent is. Uh, he, it's California. It's probably like a thousand at least. He's probably just checking up on this dude. There's the dude right there. He's probably going to let everything slide. It doesn't look like he was doing anything wrong, but they burnt that building down so many times. And the only reason we stopped at this guy is because uh, we turned the corner and I had heard the call. Tell me what they would 10, 10 Might be deemed un unsafe and they want him out. Well, I mean, yeah, it's probably not good to be in there, especially when it's burnt down so many times. Control off if you could afford that today. Copy, Jack Flair, for me. You walking down the street now? Yeah, I think so. He's right behind this car. Metro Chicago, we'll call four. Start to 417. Yeah, 118 minute. For the rent price scene, the Army scene? I'm going to black mill. Oh, no, metal pole, I'm going to chase the RP and wave and pull on the ground. I think it'll be two black mills. That's 118. Been driving at the post office. Renee, this is Bakersfield, California. Walpole, Floyd, Ralph, Oliver, Airport, and Roberts. Where we going? Uh, 417 with the metal pole. You know where, babe? Yeah. Okay. Subject return. No stop. Negative probation. 27 returns suspended or revoked. So, two black males. One was 417 and threatening uh, brandishing a weapon, a metal pole. Met unit available for channel 2. They use a lot of poles. Oh, well, it's just anything they can pick up and swing as a weapon. Yeah. You know? Any med unit on the air. Hi, Rain and Blood. Them officers are going to be there way before us because they were already right down the street. Jupiter 32 on that east or west. Hi, Harlan. Hey, Texas, why, I read your comment, why are they not enforcing the curfew law there? Oh, you don't know. She said they are no longer able to enforce the curfew law. Well, if there's no punishment, then there's no crime. Yeah, this is Bakersfield. Hi, Fairy Dust. All right, one officer's there already. No, Rhonda, it's two um, guys having an argument, and one of them threatened the other one with the pole. They are three years and nine months.
Well, one officer's there and they didn't go code, so. Go 30. Me too, emo. Bum sticks, pants, pants, poles, Baker really has it all. Um, yes, Gail, um, he was, she was put to sleep. They said her injuries were too extensive. Yeah, she had a damage to the pelvis causing paralysis to her hind, hind area, her hind legs and stuff. Saskatoon, located in x only. Hold on, And I did explain to the animal control that we had a lot of people that were uh, concerned about the welfare of that poor dog. So. Um, we call her Chunk because she was really, really chunky as a baby. And it, it's just never like changed. Um, her real name is Natalia. Did the flare? No, not really, Rick. There's been situations where I've been like uncomfortable, but I wouldn't I wouldn't go that far to say that. Hi Tacoma. Oh man, Tacoma hugs. I'll be praying for you. Paul Edward Robert Robert Yellow, first of Dewan, David Union, John Union, Adam Nora, date of birth 4 Oh, thank you guys. Okay. Chunk will hate you when she starts school. I know, I think about it now that she's getting older, like, I'll call her Chunk, like, in public and stuff. And I'm like, man, we should probably change it. But it just comes out. Like, that's what everybody calls her. I like nicknames. My husband is Fish. <laughs> it's a great camping spot. <laughs> I just, yeah. I didn't notice the tent until you said that. One call for you, Captain. My last traffic. Ever. Lady Cobb is staring into my soul. <laughs> Chris. Chunk is Adam Clifford, 1035. Chunk is a famous nickname from the Goonies. That is true. 1032 Mary 10,000 for HMS and 2736. A restrained person on a served CPO protected person is Leslie Kramer. Did it bother her through school, Tina? This was um, two guys in like a argument, Mary. One of them threatened the other one with a pole. Good evening, Randy.
Oh, Mary, my condolences. Okay, good. That's good to know, Tina. Part of any channel name, Mark? No, there wasn't, Sweepy. No update. <clears throat> update the call. Huh? Update the call. Uh, just 417 with a poll. Sarah was in February 8th. Was for a 76 year old female. And February 7th. For oh, okay, They're saying that this guy right here threatened someone else with a pole. This is Bakersfield, California, and we are in Oil Dell. Alright, let's go. Hold on. Hold on. I normally go to Yosemite to camp. Who knew Bakersfield was also an option? <laughs> yeah, you gotta broaden your horizons. No, we are not, Jesse. You're welcome, Pot Roast. He is moving. Uh, you're you're 10 one. Go ahead with your vehicle, please. Right off of North Chester and Norris. And then this guy right here that we're fixing to turn and see got pulled over riding a got pulled over riding an ATV. I couldn't copy it all. How you doing, car chase? If only it was that easy to move, right? Four Copy, if you drink, please. Hi, Allison. You want to for cut for the tonight? Perfect. Oh, yep. I'll fix that. I'm confirming your code for. Like a block from that call. And for, code for. Block away. Affirmative, go ahead. Robert, Edward, Yellow, Nora, Ocean, Lincoln, David, Sam, first of John, date of birth is 12, 18, 19, 70, 70. Yeah, sadly, oh, Tonka. John oh, John Reynolds. Oh, John Reynolds just got pulled over riding a quad next to the railroad tracks. He did not realize there was five officers investing a, a homeless 417 with a metal pole. A 15-year-old did, Tonka. He's just riding the old quad next to the railroad tracks. Got pulled over. <laughs> How's that for bad luck? Control off to 2K. I'll be on a 10 20 under guarding the 20,002. Lincoln, 17. I hate that, Allison. 17 South Chester and Terrace. On a Honda, copy California 7, Adam Henry, Mary 031. <laughs> well, he's got no stops, so he's clean as long as his, uh, as long as his little get up's clean, it's not stolen, they'll let him push it on, but he can't ride it. That's expired June 2, 
How's Bushy doing? Still fluffy? <laughs> Missed that plant. Metro 6 situation. Alright, so they're code 4, guys. Lincoln, 6 Zebra, Sam, Charles, Dylan, Lincoln, Adam, X ray, David, Zero, push it home two, now, four, two, five, seven. So that officer right there on the left just read the VIN number to control one. So they're gonna they're calling in the VIN on it to see if it's legal or not. See if it's reported stolen or anything. Simple six to so self six fire June is twenty eighteen, twenty thirteen. Make is Queen Ida Yellow. Edward A T B out of Bakersfield. So it's not stolen. Registered to Michael Williams. It's not stolen. They're going to let them push it home. If they wanted to, like, wanted to, they could probably impound it, huh? Yeah, they Just could. Just for riding it on the street? Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying they should, but... but yeah, they could. There's dog in the background. Mm -hmm. He's all, I want to play. I want to play. Let me out. If they were nice, they could let him drive it home and follow him. I don't think he's out to make any trouble. I think he just unlucky. He didn't realize there was five cops right here dealing with something else. That's sad, Emo. My daughter watches that show. Yeah, they're going to let him go. He's good. He said, I'll push this son of a bitch home. Well, he's going to ride it home. You can ride them on the street in Tennessee. Hi, John. Oh, no, he's going to push it. He ain't trying to get in no trouble. Well, cool. No harm, no foul. You can ride them on the street in Arizona too. I think, I mean, I don't know. I think they require the headlights and all that other stuff here. Susan said it could be his only transportation. It could be. He jumped right back on it and rode it though after the cops left. Yeah. I want one of those with the doggy seat and a seatbelt so my baby can ride with me. My little, my old little teacup poodle used to sit on the seat with me. He'd sit right there and ride all around. I remember getting stopped to my BMX bike constantly for no reflectors. They would actually try to get us to push our bikes home at night. Hi, Kristen. 
Lord was subject to refuse his disease and continues to attempt to enter plus his via Hispanic male blue t shirt, black pants. He also appears HNS. Uh, Lieutenant Rebecca. Okay, we got a call down at the Amtrak station. Guy keeps trying to trying to get on buses and refusing to leave. What, like not pay for them? Just get yeah, on. He ain't got no money. He said he's possible H and S, which means he's high. Yeah. It's possibly high. Black dude. I'll play it again. Hi, Metro Two. Oh, they got two headed down there. Good evening, Gloria. Um, there's just been little minor things, a minor traffic collision. Um a guy that was allegedly waving around a knife police took him down is that it oh two guys that were arguing one threatened the other one with the pole guy got pulled over on a quad having a car Oh, yeah, some kids play fighting. Yeah. Hi, Dottie. Little calls, man, little calls, nothing major. Good time to check on the B-Girls. Yeah, we're heading back down that way. Blood. Um, Phoebe is Odin's human. I did not make spaghetti, no. I'm no. on tour. This Sunday's a time change? I hate time change. It always throws me off. You know, not everywhere does it. Yeah, I know you said they don't do it over there. No, they don't. Good evening, Blue Line. Check the welfare at 3020 Storage Drive. Call Ben Holding several. Check the welfare. I'm in the middle of the street down there. Hispanic male wearing a blue shirt with little brown squares on it. MDC for seven. Check the clear Fox 27 Express. Hi, 
no, I wish one, sir. That'd be fun. Second half of the unknown race male wearing a black ski mask, all black clothing. Uh, doesn't appear to be under the influence. No weapons were seen. Copy FCC for assignment 2601 me. Alpha 10 Sunrise from Boulevard. Copy, I've got it. I'll put that in just in case. 9 11, 10 8. Seeing capital units, uh, East 20, East 21. Copy, I'll put you on driver, Lassie 1, East 1, Stockdale, Allen. Seeing Black Nissan Sentra with headlights off, telephone plate. Crash attack, please. Yellow 6707, control 3 push. Five Metro two ten four five zero one assist five Metro one six zero one truck. Is that the one we're going to? Uh, yeah, sir, number twenty. Metro one is coming in ten eighty seven five zero one. He's right there behind us. 5 Metro 3 advisor, you today? Yes, sir, your phone. 10-4 respondent. This is 5 Metro 1 at Sam Front 601 Truxton. What's up, Darren? We're doing a block of the Twitter. <laughs> 5 Valley 1. Not available. Five Valley Winds got 23, Matt 11. Hey, Evan. Yeah, respond with Five Valley One and stage at 3020 Door Drive. Hey, Rob, I'm downtown. <laughs> Swat him as we're driving by. All right, so there's a female officer up here with this crazy person. And she's supposed to be waiting for backup. Backup is behind us, heading down this way. So we're gonna get down here and check it out. Current for the 2019 Honda 4 door out of Delano to Roswell Gonzalez on 19th last 8177. So there's the officer. Let me just say, the knife dude is a moron. He swooped behind and didn't even see him coming, clearly knowing he was there. Hang on, I think the one I called, uh, did they get that place? Valley unit is going to fire. Then I hear traffic. We're covering the unit. He's pretty positive. It's an Arizona place. He copies him positive on that, I think. Neighbor. Five Valley 2, copy fire. You're set 6 with 5 Metro 1 at the camp track. Um, no, they don't swivel. Wait, that's what I say, right? No, I think it's going to be these dudes behind us. Central 3. Central 4. That's 
wait and see where they go. I think they're going behind us. Attention, city units. Control to broadcasting. Possible DUI vehicle, Golden State Union. Last seen southbound with a flat tire in front and damage on a red key of 14. Any information, Golden State Union, southbound, possible DUI vehicle, a red key of 14 with a flat tire, front end damage, and throwing a beer can out of the window. Control 2, clear. Wow. Hi, Liara. Did I already get him in custody or what's going on? No, she said she was waiting for backup. You just got here. I know. I don't know. Thank you, Maynard. You have a great night. DUI is inexcusable. Yes, it is. Good evening, Marisa. This is the Amtrak station. <clears throat> In New York, it's illegal to drive with a scanner. I don't know about that. There's people that do this very thing in New York. Uh huh. Contact with RP. Everybody, if you turn this code four, no longer will you be with the Capitol Map. Bye, Valley West. Good evening, All right. Well, they uh, canceled it out. Bye, Valley West. Step by another assignment. Where was the beer can throwing DUI? Going down Union. A red Kia Forte. Five Valley One. If you can respond to the that's map, right, Jesse. Thank you. Well, Nicole just sent you fresh news and more cash since Bobby won't do it. Ha ha. Only joking, Bobster. Five Valley One. Five. Eleven. If you can respond with Five Valley One, it's going to be for a check the welfare female versus Sylvia calling from the fast trip at four zero one three South H Henry. So I guess it reads a portable scanner used in but not connected in any way to the vehicle is questionable but it has been prosecuted. The law is a misdemeanor, possible six months in jail. And ones that are connected to the vehicle are strictly prohibited. Happy birthday, Resident Evil. All right. The Metro Square confirm the tag number. The Metro for the check the welfare left 15 Union Avenue. Other unit with traffic. Re advice. Five Valley Two, show me your right to my prior tag, five nine nine. Five Valley Two, that's from this end round. Any other unit with traffic? I like her as a dispatcher. She's very informative. And she talks slow and clear. Yeah, I like that she's clear. Mm -hmm. What type of antenna are you using? For unknown subject who is in the RP front yard of the HVD, I just run two five Cherokee. I just run little small antennas. Little, uh, I forget. There's some kind of Chinese name.
She just dropped something. Probably trash. Probably. Is that a female? I thought so. Oh. Uh. Are her pants down on her butt? Yeah. I thought it was female, but the hair or the body's thrown. The pants are throwing me off. All right, we're looking for girls. Someone wanted to go check on the girls. Hi, Valley Lynn. Hi, Jeffrey. From the last two on the plate are two seven or three seven. Three seven. That's four. Maddie eleven code forty hundred wins to ninety seven. Eleven copy. Couple girls. Five Valley one and six boy Adam Sam zero three seven. No record on file. There's one down there. The street's empty. I mean, there's trucks. That's true. Wonder if amusement park lady's out with her light up shoes just waiting for people to hop on her ride. Safety shoes, guys, safety shoes. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do the first giveaway. So thank you again to the anonymous donor for this. Um, the giveaway is only open to US and Canada residents. And that is thank you to Kevin and Rhonda have offered to pay for the Canadian shipping. Get near your chats if you want to take a guess. It is going to be a number between one and a hundred. And it'll be the first person that gets the correct answer on my chat. And my chat is going to look different than your guys's. You may start.
<clears throat> Mitch on YouTube. It is number 44. Zebra. Mitch. Congratulations, Mitch. Congratulations, Mitch. You, sir, are the proud new owner of a white t-shirt media t-shirt. You have the choice between a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt. They're both awesome. And you also have the choice between large and triple X. Send us an email to the email address on the screen. Send us your name, your address, place to send it to, and uh, what size you prefer, what color you prefer, and we will get it sent out to you. Congratulations, and thanks again to the anonymous donor who made the t-shirt giveaway possible. One pop four, confirming you said no record. If you guys didn't win, don't fret. Our generous uh, anonymous donor gave us the ability to do one more tonight, so we will be doing one more. And Carrie, if you are watching, you won the other night. We still need you to send us your information. Yes, Miss Carrie was the winner of the hoodie. And we still do not have her address, so Miss Carrie, please send us your Hi, information so we can get your hoodie to you. Talk about Sylvan. Go inside. Maybe. You need to go? Yeah. I mean, I don't. It's not like an emergency right now, but. Paul, Ida, Nora, Edward, David, Adam, first of Christian, Charles, Robert, Ida, Tom, Ida, Adam, Nora, Edward, six. Tonight I identify as Miss Carrie. Uh, we just, you know, she won fair and square. We want to make sure it gets to her. Yeah, she said she did, Darren, but we didn't have a message. For the play return, the play return is most off the record on file. I copy Ida, Boy, Sam, Paul. I love my hoodies. I'm going to need a new yeah, one. Pretty soon I wear mine so much. Yeah, he's not sure what you're from airport. Occupied by Dugan. You can do whatever first move. Copy, he's not sure on Woodrow from airport. Is stolen vehicle? Stolen vehicle. Okay. Run, run, run. Come on. You Okay. We got a chase, guys. Lift the Chevy truck. Don't be a quitter. 
There was a chase in Oildale. They just lost the vehicle. They're trying to relocate. A uh, stolen vehicle, did you want Second half is 
property. It was a Chevy or a GMC um, large truck with large tires. Seemed to be close to me on Petrol Road. Heard a big truck fly by. What's up, Lexus? Where are we? This is why we need Air One out. Yeah. State Park on the road. Second hand information from Control 3 of the 211 in progress at 15, 1531 Northchester Avenue. The Donut Star, we're still attempting further. There was no answer. Call back to the original RP. Yes, they lost him. They're still trying to locate him. They just lost during the chase. They said it was a large red GMC or Chevy truck with large wheels. That's before I had a vehicle over here off of Big Horn Meadow on Bush Creek. They're about right Metro 4 is an occupant. Unknown. And it's along the curb of the residence. Big Horn Meadow on Bush Creek. They have located the vehicle right here, guys, to our left, but it is unoccupied. Uh, they lost the car during the chase chomper, but they just located the vehicle and it is empty. For affirmative on the scene, the vehicle. Go ahead and start me CI so we can talk us the vehicle. Um, let's get a unit to the west, dead end, uh, uh, east to the whatever east and west are going to buy. 10-4, unit to take the west end of Bighorn Meadow. This is right off of Bighorn Meadow Drive. Multiple units. Just south of Day. Or confirm you need a perimeter. Hey, from I want to use the west end of the big form that'll give you a unit to the east. Uh, leave the next street. Probably need to be one block of the north and south and get a unit just to the north, which I believe that's going to be uh, day. So they're going to set up a perimeter. Here, today. 
Yeah, I'm fixing to pull out. I got a flare. I'm gonna go look for him. Okay. <laughs> Where's the flare? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm All right, hit the flare, baby. Let's go look around. Why would you steal something that obvious, but how would you lose something that obvious? It is pretty, pretty big, obvious truck. And they weren't going that fast. What's up, Jace? Good to see you. Are they looking for a second car? No. Well, I mean, I don't know where the guys did when they ditched the truck. He said, I'm um, two blocks from there and a car just rounded my corner at about 60. Uh, it was a stolen vehicle, crazy uncle. They let him on a chase, but they lost the vehicle. They just found it, but it is unoccupied. They're setting up a perimeter and searching the area for the two guys. Um, there was officer Susan. They hopped in a red Hummer, now completely inconspicuous. The police one, blue line? I can serve. Go check the park. Yeah, let's do that. So they said there's a a lowered Chevy pickup cruising the area really slow. They think that they're going to stop and uh, talk to the person driving by. They think that maybe the guys are trying to get a ride out of the area. That's a guy and a girl. Yeah, they're just... He's trying to get lucky. And she's... Hi, Matt. Do we have any other units responding? This is one additional unit to go to the post office off Southern Standard. Uh, the homeowner with a vehicle parked in front of the surveillance. The lovebirds. Hi, Debbie. They parked it like right, like they were parking at somebody's house. Yeah, and then they ditched it. Yeah, on the perimeter. Um, the other vehicle is checking to see if we something out and start going. Someone saw them run if they went out on day. That's a pretty common issue. The if they're on Big Horn, that's the closest exit I've ever had. We can put a control for 1000 Pacheco, apartment number 72. Check the local RP daughter and search for July light. If you're bored and come to me as a mother of the daughter, you need to. I'm Ali. I'm Ali 41022. We're responsible for a priority for Christian Verbal. I can see her now. Sure. California Yellow. 
So they just found a driver's license left in the truck that they're running. That's hilarious if they dropped their driver's license. I think they would have ran over toward the Walmart. If they were smart, they would have ran, hopped that wall, and went over to the Walmart. Let's go check that. That's, I mean, what, that's what I would have done. It's possible they know somebody in the area and just went in their house. I love dumb criminals. <laughs> Yeah, there was two people in the truck. Oh yeah, the Walmart's like, they could have just hopped this wall. That's what I would have done. Gotta jump that wall. But we're in Walmart. It's not dark in this parking lot. It's lower and it's like two tops, like the first half of the vehicle, like a blue, and then it was primer gray on like the other piece of situation on the property. So, me, so, my fourth and fourth, but also, the map is kind of a good view. We're going to follow the train. Imagine they're just sitting at home watching this with us. <laughs> my ending mileage is 488. Eight. 19 your Mario. Yep. Pretend like I was grocery shopping. <laughs> I'd be I'd be in there uh I'd be in there in the in the fishing section <laughs> checking out the ugly sticks. Look at this dude walking right here. He looks suspicious. Cause he's walking. Let's see. It looks like he's a worker. For the two eleven with a crazy cannon. Your birth is 1975 with prior to returning because you wanted 496 feet data. BPD advised the shadow unit is available and call for services when entered. Uh, okay, confirm your last one that we have within a call for service for the shadow unit. Bonus, it'll be the ones out of breath sweating. Hi, hippie chick. This is the Walmart on North Chester and Day. That happened to my son. His pickup was still on recovery two weeks later from Walmart parking lot with a guy's casino ID card in it with name and information on it. He was busted. Got five years in prison. I think they're long gone too. I do I too. Girl. But if you just heard that last part, they said that some chick named Christy uh, called in that. Uh, called in that uh that robbery at the donut store yeah and she had priors for 10851 and all that stuff they're trying to get a shadow unit to come out and fly over the area They might have got away. I think they're long gone. Are you available to respond to assist control one? 298 Bighorn Meadow. 
Yes, it is, Blue Line. What's the situation? They're advising they were in a pursuit at a 245 on an officer. We're attempting details. Sergeant Blue Line, additional units. What was the 245 on officer? Uh, he maybe hit the officer's uh, car. Uh-oh. Code 444052, respond. I don't know. I've noticed two, Scuba. I'm not sure why they have been. Why have scanners been so static lately? Just unlucky, I guess. We are in Bakersfield, California, on North Chester and Day. He is getting his pilot's license, Beto. short videos out there and it was cool yeah I love being up there and talk my girl into going with me hi Susie I think they went toward the Walmart. That's what I think. I feel like they went in one of these houses. They may have, but I just... Walmart would be my guess. Highly populated area. You'd have to. Um, both, Patricia. Susan, so there's action going on across from Walmart. Go back. Hi, Raven. I think they're sitting in a friend's house in the area drinking a beer and laughing. <laughs> you think so, huh? Try to get out of here now. It ain't gonna be that way. <clears throat> yeah, if if he didn't run into if they him, it was occupied by two, I believe. Yeah, they said two. I would have went to Walmart. I'd be in there looking at the tackle boxes right now. Like I don't know what you're talking about. His lights are bright. Yeah, they are. 
That's good, though. If you're looking for something. What's your county's chase policy? Because it varies widely. I don't really know what the policies are, but I know they'll call them off for a lot of reasons, like speed. Um, they call them off often due to speed. What else? Anytime, it, anytime they exceed 100 miles an hour or anytime they... Uh, they endanger the lives of innocent bystanders or anything like that. Any anytime it becomes a danger to the public, they'll uh, they'll call it off and just try their luck later. This is California. Tracy said, "Wrong way, driver." Hi, Sherilyn. Yeah, yeah, wrong way driver. That's that's dangerous to public. What's up, Andy? You're broken. You have feedback. Per video surveillance from the west end, they did not come west. They did not come west. Frank, uh, control and key work. See the pending SCTA investigation, the one there, and that's going to be our truck. Can you attempt to call her and get her info if she has suspect info? So it sounds like they're looking at, um... So they did not... They did not come west, guys. Looking at people's security cameras to see which direction they may have gone. So they went toward... They either went in somebody's house or they went toward, toward Walmart. That's all there is to it. Hi, Uma. Hi, G. I'm from the TI. I have been five months now. Good evening, Garrett. Drug Alien Crimes, 1534 L Street. That hurts, Eric. I'm out, but they have been advised. You okay, Kick Rocks? Where the truck is parked, could that be the house? <clears throat> I seen them go up to the door of that house. Good night, Rick. Good evening, Ace. Did you see the most recent Corvette chase on Smoke and Scan? It was 170 miles per an hour. No, I, I still haven't seen that, but I heard about it. I have a feeling they already got away. What area was it originally stolen from? They didn't say that. Out by the post office. Oh, never mind. They did. Turn on the FLIR, babe. We'll check this field. These dudes are gone. Hey, Chad. Hi, Shanae. Yeah, these days are long gone. They had somebody pick them up or something. Good evening, Lulu. If they were smart, they'd run into Walmart and buy a change of clothes. I'm not sure if they had an actual, um, like, description of the two guys. They just knew it was occupied by two. Do you want 1097? Were the truck windows um, tinted? It looked yes, kind of dark. Two 
four one fucking four. If we're in a chase and we already know who they are, we'll call it off and issue a warrant. <coughs> that makes sense. Two ball six Charles King for you. You can go ahead and contact her if you don't mind. What's up, John? Yeah, I'd be standing over here wearing a uh, one of them. Those Walmart uh, reflector vests. I'd be pushing carts around the <laughs> parking lot like I like I'm supposed to be here. Uh, this camera is a FLIR camera, F-L-I-R. I don't know, model? Do you know the model? No, not right off the top of my head. Hi, Reiki. I know it's registered to me and to this vehicle. They insisted upon that before I was able to buy it. It had to be cleared to own it. Yes, Lulu. Yeah, they're gone, man. Long gone. Yeah. Take a Take a part. 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 Take a Okay, Chad, I'll uh, check it. My older brother growing up was a bit of a criminal. I told him he's not smart enough to get away with anything. He changed after that day. Yeah, Ray K, unfortunately, they put the dog to sleep. They said the injuries were too extensive. Well, yeah, I think this. You, I think this one's over. I think so too. No, they're gonna. They requested a drone from the. I mean, we could stay in this area. Police but... department. I'd be shocked if they were found. No, I think they were on the phone with somebody as they were driving. Probably. And then uh, they ditched and. Got in another vehicle and are gone, or they uh, jumped that wall and someone was waiting for them in the Walmart parking lot. What's up, Alec? Turn on the flare. I can see further with that one. Control one, three, six, zero, eight, ten, eight, eight, no further. I can't have the suspicious people. Okay. People that do things always have a backup plan. I mean, it would be smart to. Me too, Dina. What is dumb to die? Medical aid, Evans and Mary Street, 19th Street. For an unknown medical aid, BPD is en route. Your ambulance is staging. What's up, man? Leaves on fire. For the one plate returns, no stop. Expired on the 97. Honda out of Porterville. One ball, four, four. That's four. We're looking at the party. Check the welfare. Thank you. And Mary. For a man. 
that'll work, Derek, because I'm allergic to them. I love them, but I can't really be around them. In my experience, they're never far. They're bunkering down. Yeah, go ahead and switch it, baby. We're already three major streets or three blocks over. I'm not seeing nothing. Hi, Derek. But if you guys heard the scanner traffic, a female had called. What does that have to do with this? A female had called. A female had called uh, the sheriff's department and reported a 211 armed robbery. At this donut shop. I'll go down one more. Uh, at the donut shop right over here on the corner, and police thought it might be related. They went over there and checked. The owner of the donut shop said there was no 211. So they uh, they tracked the phone number of the person that called the 911. For the Anyway. You got it? Yeah. Where's that? Up there. Huh? Up there. North. Um, it's not a structure fire, guys. It was just a pile of leaves, they said. Leaves on fire. Good night, Tommy. Hey, Garrick, this is Bakersfield, California. So anyway, this donut stop, this donut shop down there, somebody called in a fake call of an armed robbery, and they think it was to divert the cops' attention. Uh, so they called, they 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 traced the number back to a female who has uh, priors for uh, ten eight fifty one stolen vehicles. Huh. So it sounds her name was Christy. Christy Ganner, I don't know, yeah. I can't remember, but they think that she was calling to get to divert the cops away from the area to say there was an armed robbery down there yeah. to help her friends get away. Ooh. Yeah. Are they talking to her? Well, I, I don't know. That's why we're going up to this next call. Where, where was it? They said this is related to the... The GTA. The GTA. Okay, so it's up in this area. She's being uncooperative now. West Day, make a left. It's right there um, in the same neighborhood. Right off of Park Meadows. Is it? it... In that same neighborhood, but lower, I believe. Left on West Day, right on Park Meadows. So it's in the next neighborhood. No, it's in the next neighborhood. The one right across then. It is very near it, Ashley. So we'll go check that out. But she might have been the one that called in the the fake 911. Speculation, guys. Don't know for sure. Uh, yes, Mona. The donut shop on Norris and Chester. No, they haven't found them yet. Um, I'm not sure, Jacob, till at least midnight. Later, depending. So right on Park Meadows, and that's going to be... Okay, so it's not the neighborhood across. Past the stop sign and make a right. So it's still nearby, but it's not directly across. Back from the 
This is Bakersfield. I bet they're at home tripping. <laughs> <laughs> right? Past it. Huh? Past it? Yeah. Like the third street. I can't wait the Eagle units that are 10 7 of you know the traffic. Go ahead. Shot on that. Yeah, it's weirdly positioned. And she's uncooperative? They said she's uncooperative. He asked for another officer, right? No, I thought he said he was code four. Oh, he might have said that after. I think this might have been the driver's license where it was, where the because they found the driver's license in the yeah. vehicle. Possible. This, this might have been where the driver's license came back to. Guys, it's completely black over there. That's the best I can do. We're not sure if this is the caller's address or possibly the address to the ID they found in the truck. Um, they just said it was related. It looks like they're checking her phone. It was related to the stolen vehicle. She might have been the one. She might have been the one that called in the, the fake man. This is on Greenwood. 
John Ida, David Ocean. One seventeen and seven seven. Copy. Ten four ten three. This uh, this is somehow related mode to the stolen vehicle. They had a fake 211 call right down the street from the stolen vehicle, which they believe was um, possibly somebody trying to divert their attention away from the stolen vehicle. They also found a driver's license in the stolen vehicle. Tag 669. Good morning, that's your team again, South Rail. Good morning, Della. And she keeps closing the door and I don't know, some something, something sus about this one. Good evening, Joyce. Greenwood. Yeah, this is up on Greenwood. This would be uh, west and one block, one block north of where they found the stolen vehicle. About five streets west and one or two blocks north. But they have reason to believe. It appears that the ignition is undamaged. I don't see the keys with it, though. Really? So the ignition's undamaged, but the keys are not in the vehicle. And for some reason, they think that this house and this lady, this person, has something to do with it. Hi, Chelsea. digging in deep for this one guys we're digging in deep we're following the investigation where it leads this is like private eye stuff okay guys so we are we're not gonna do it right this second but we still have one more t-shirt to give away tonight from an anonymous donor and then the anonymous donor just donated again for us to give away two more t-shirts tomorrow night um for if you don't win you guys will have two more chances tomorrow thank you green acres so we'll be giving away one more t-shirt tonight and then two more tomorrow night and thank you so much to the anonymous donor hi claudia john said of course the two guys are sitting in the kitchen <laughs> Or hiding in the garage. I think they just need to detain her. With a taser. <laughs> you just want to see action. Yeah, she's sus. Like, she, she knows something's wrong. You know what I mean? She's like hiding behind the door. Like, if they move toward me, I'm going to slam this door and run in the house. Good morning, Angelique. You're welcome, Valerie. So not only was it a pursuit, guys, but they're saying it was a 245, which is assault with a deadly weapon on an officer, because apparently the truck possibly struck the officer's car or something like that. That's a pretty serious charge when you start ramming officers and stuff. 
Good morning, Karen. Um, it's going to be across all the platforms, John. So everybody will have a chance. Valley 2. Fire Valley 2. Yeah, 18th, 21. My RV and advice that officers are in room. Call 6 Charles, situation on Greenwood. Yes, we're on Greenwood. See, uh, that that drone's got to get authorization because they're in Class Delta airspace. They're too close to the airport to fly the drone without uh, air traffic control. Uh, we aren't sure for sure, Della, what she has to do with it. Um, we were just stating that there was the call, the false call that they felt was related. Um, and they traced the number back and it was a female. And then they also found a driver's license in the truck. So we're not sure exactly where she falls in line with this, but they said that they believe this is related somehow. They said this is related to the GTA. Wild Goose Chase. Uh, yeah, she was being uncooperative. Which doesn't really help the situation. I think she's not guilty and they're going to leave empty handed. They might. We won't know until it's over. Uh, no, I think they got to have more than that, Angelique. Yeah, but if she made the call. No, she asked, could they arrest her for just being non cooperative? I think they have no. to have more than that. They yeah, can't but, just arrest her. But if she made talk. the call about that 211 at the donut store, that's uh, false reporting. What's up, Jeff? Rescue 2, ECC. This has all happened on Flower Street, a silencer, not at this location. There's no indication of stage. Sure, what's back, Richard?
there was a false um, armed robbery report, Samantha, right at the time that the chase was happening, um, just down the street. And they believe that that was um, somebody trying to get their attention diverted away from the stolen vehicle. They did trace that call back to a female. Uh, they did call the number back seat. Oh, you mean while they're standing there? They already checked their phone. Yeah, they did. She's on her phone right there. Check her hands for frostings and sprinkles. We can't, um, with the way we're positioned, Sima, we would have to turn the truck directly facing that driveway. They're definitely interested. Yeah. In something. And they, they said it's related to the GTA. Sucks that we don't know. I know. Taser till she talks. <laughs> I, I don't think so for a minute. I think that you can tase the truth out of people. Della, thank you so much for that super chat. One Charles, six John, John. We appreciate it. Four, 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 one Mary Lincoln, five zero two four five eight. Uh, uh, six Lincoln, David Charles, four seven three. Five, six, six. wonder if the address on the ID is this address. No, see, that's what we don't know. We don't know if she has something to do with the calling uh, false armed robbery or if it okay, has something to do with the, the driver's license. Yeah, it would be on Burr Street. Scott, thank you so much for that super sticker. Just one plate return says stop. Expired on the 2004 Toyota. They're saying somebody keeps looking at the blinds. I didn't see it. I can see you, Sunflower.
I don't know, they obviously think something's important enough to stay here and talk to this lady. I mean, that's obvious. Uh, false call to 911 uh, route 703. is a misdemeanor. 10 4 4 No, you wouldn't, Sunflower. <laughs> Throw the phone in the lawn so we can get an ear in. And it looks like they're done. We will never know. That sucks. Well, it is what it is. I hate when we don't get resolutions. <laughs> yeah, we gotta know something. Let's go. Let's do it. I think it's a house, Rhonda. Hi, NC. guys live in this neighborhood don't forget to get your brown trash cans out uh, for the good old days when suspects were dragged down to the station put under a hot spotlight and cops would badger a confession yeah <laughs> Beat with a phone book. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> yeah. Good night, uh, bring back the good old days. They'll beat you with a phone book. They don't even have phone books anymore. Okay, guys, so we're going to do the second t-shirt giveaway. So my apologies, it's only the U.S. and Canada residents, and that is because Kevin and Rhonda have offered to pay for the Canadian shipping. Um, and uh, it'll be the first person that gets the correct answer, and it'll be look differently to me in my chat than it does to you guys. So, number between 1 and 100, and you may go. You guess the number between 1 and 100 in the chat. Uh, 
uh, Bud's No Wiser. Bud's No Wiser. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're the proud new owner of a white t-shirt media t-shirt. You have the choice between a white one or a black one. And we can offer you from large to triple X as you like. Please send us an email with your name and address. And what color, what color and size you want. And we will get it sent out to you tomorrow. 71. What's the number? Lucky number 71. The last one was 44. This one was 71. No, it wasn't 44. Oh, well. <laughs> baby, you're doing it. I'm just helping, baby. I'm your sponsor. <laughs> and thank you so much to the anonymous donor. Yes, um, thank you. So tomorrow, guys, we'll be giving away two more t-shirts. Again, thank you to the anonymous donor. Lizzie, yes, we're on um, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. And this is the place they said got robbed right here. Yep. The donut store. So, Bud, um, I have the email address at the top of the screen. I just need you to send me your address, size, and color. Oh, it was 44? Maybe it was. <laughs> I thought it was. And Anonymous Donor, I know you can't see all the chats, but um, they're thanking you across all platforms. And we thank you too, sir. I don't know if it's a sir. You don't even know who sent it. Well, I call everybody sir, babe. <laughs> it's it's a work thing. Answer everybody, yes, sir. We're getting back in work mode, baby. I know. Do we have a Seventy one is sixty nine plus tax. <laughs> yeah. Bobby will be gone for 35 days, Claudia. About 37 total. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go on a, a, a fundraiser, guys. I gotta go, I gotta go do a, a white t-shirt media fundraiser. It's like a Jerry Lewis telethon <laughs> thing, kind of, but different. I know, guys. I'm dreading it. He's leaving Saturday morning early. Well, you guys got to understand, man. There's not a whole bunch of choices in this world. I thought just being awesome and gorgeous would, would pay all my bills, but it didn't happen. It's not working out for you. It's not working <laughs> out. You know what I mean? I thought that waking up every morning and walking around in a robe would make me the new Hugh Hefner. It didn't happen. No, Green Acres. We, um... We have to take every other month off when Bobby goes to work. It sucks. I can't. <laughs> I, I I can't expect no one else to pay my bills. You know. Okay. Let me. I mean, unless Kevin. you guys unless you guys got a few spare rooms, <laughs> we'll all move in. And I like doing a bunch of dumb stuff that's a lot of times ain't cheap. And I like to be able to take care of my girl. And the chunk. Yeah, I like it too. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, Lizzie, I don't. One of these days we'll be YouTube.
famous and rich and all that wonderful stuff and maybe I won't have to go to work but until then that's uh that's just not in the car you guys wouldn't want to watch a a, a homeless dude without a car doing live stream and that's what it would be I'd be homeless with no car or nothing and my girl would have done been ducked out she'd be she'd be long gone we are cruising until we get another call. Yeah, my girl would dip. Just when I'm used to him being back home, he leaves again. That's the story of our lives, Robin. I don't, it's not, it's not like a choice. It's, you know what I mean? Trust no, me. Prayers for Bobby and safe trip. I can live stream from the back of an Uber. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know how everybody else survives out there. It's their personal business. Not really, Karina. He leaves Saturday morning. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know how the rest of the world goes out there and and you know makes their life happen. It's their own personal business. All I know is how to do mine, and unfortunately, it <laughs> it, it takes me going to work. I man. do need snacks. Can Bobby call in sick? No. No, there's none of that. That doesn't happen. I've never known him to call in sick like ever for any reason. Last year when I was really sick going through the heart stuff was the first time he's ever taken off work in in the 17 years we've been together. Yeah, he leaves really early Saturday. Bobby, we'd have to get you some of those flashing shoes. <laughs> That's it. Green shirt, hat, pants. I live on my own with a small dog and I work two jobs to get me by. See? Good night, present. See? Or I could beg. I could grab a sign and grab a street corner and you know what I mean? <laughs> Nicole, you're feeling heart pains, right? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, knitter girl. They they put the dog to sleep. Her injuries were too extensive, they said. She was paralyzed yeah, from the, the on her We should be streaming um, at least through Thursday, CMO. Not sure about Friday. We're not sure, Green Acres. It was just a dog that we came across um, that had just been hit by a car. We don't know whose dog it was. It was not chipped. They did check it for a chip, and it did not have a chip. But she was a sweet dog. She was scared to death. She's beautiful too. She was. I wanted to take her home. I was really praying that she was going to be able to be like fixed and I could go pick her up. She was a pit. Okay, Nate, you have a great night. If a person dies on TV, I'm okay. A dog dies, and I am crying. Oh, Me yeah. too. I can't. I try to stay away from like dog movies completely. 
because I don't do very well with them. Yeah, they are green acres. People love animals more than their own species, true or false? I'm going to say that's probably true. Well, it depends on the person, but if you love dogs, you love dogs. I love people. I love people. I mean, I love animals, but I love people too. But I think because animals are a little bit more like... Dependent? Dependent and helpless. It's like different. And they're more loyal. Yeah. I got a dog. Oh, well, I got two dogs at home. And... Control 1, temperature 4, they look up. They look up at us like we're the greatest people in the world. Yeah. Miss Deed, she'll she'll crawl up and just lay your lay her head on your chest, and she'll like put her paw out and kind of like like encourage you to rub her. She'll like pet you, like say hey. Maybe yeah. You. She'll tap your hand to get you to rub her and stuff. Yeah, and they don't understand what is happening. Animals don't declare war on each other, so yeah, animals are better than most people. Bobby, I wish I would have played my cards right. The Saudi Arabia F1 races this weekend. I'd have <coughs> known you were going back to work. I'd cheat you to the race. I've been to the Bahrain uh, Formula One. That was pretty cool. What? MSNBC TV studios evacuated yesterday because of bed bugs. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think possums are so cute, Susie. Oh, they're ugly. They're, I think they're so cute. I know you don't think they're cute, but they're ugly creatures. My kitty taps with her paw and puts her paw in my hand. Oh. <laughs> Was that building shaped like a taco? I don't think there's a taco building on Union. <laughs> Put your dog and your girlfriend in the trunk of your car for an hour. When you open it, see who's the first one that kisses you. <laughs> What's the sign say, Derek? Um, I don't know how you check if somebody has you blocked, honestly. I don't think you really can. Been, like weirdly shaped, Lizzie. Robin said if you click on their profile and it doesn't come up for you, then you're blocked. Attack cat? <laughs> I have actually seen cats like mess somebody up like bad. Well, they're fast. No, with their claws. I know, they're fast and they got super sharp claws. Especially kittens when they don't know any better. They can like hang off your skin. I count a block as a win. <laughs> Oh, see, I would totally keep a possum as a pet. Hi, 
Hi, Kathleen. I have a 17 pound armored cab, my Iguanas, Romeo. My best friend growing up had a humongous iguana that like had a shelf all across the ceiling of their house and would just kind of like walk around. My mom hated it. She was so scared of it. Come on, Bakersfield, do us another one. Do us another one. What's up, Fat Minnie? Hi, Jody. Possums in Australia are cuter than the ones in U.S. Now I gotta see what they look like. I think Chunk would like a possum. She would love it. She likes all animals though. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. I was pretty upset I missed her gymnastics today, man. It's every Tuesday. <laughs> she, she, we were like, oh my gosh. She was doing the balance beam, like yeah. a higher one today. Yeah. And the teacher went over to like grab her hand to like help her. Yeah. And she was like, Do, don't, don't touch me. <laughs> we were like, Chunk, you can't talk to her like that. She's just trying to help you. She doesn't mean it like mean, but she like wants, she's like so determined to do it herself, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, but a brush tail possum. They're super cute. Look. Yeah, those would be better than the ones we got here. The ones we got here look like like mangy ass rats. Uh chunk is three. There's a guy on YouTube who has two prairie dogs as pets, Rocky and Poppy. No, Pocky and Poppy. So cute, they're obedient, talk to him, show him love and excitement, and are house trained. We that's that's what we need to do. We a need koala, to get that would be fun. We need to get some exotic pets, man. And why are ferrets illegal in California? What's the deal with that? I don't know. I think that's stupid. The rats in New York are kangaroos. <clears throat> Possums will put on a big show when you corner them, but they have never attacked me. Skunks are actually pretty cute when you when, they, when they're like. I keep a skunk if it didn't spray me. Well, you can have the glands removed. Yeah. This and drool. They didn't like you, Krista. And I like raccoons because they got those little hands. They got like little people hands. Yeah. Ferrets are legal in Idaho. They're probably legal everywhere but California. Did it still have the sick glands, Julius? I know, Concern, we were talking about that earlier tonight. I was just watching a recording coons on my patio. They came up every night for marshmallows and cookies. Yeah, we used to have uh, kit foxes. And raccoons. And raccoons, I yeah. had a little family and they had a bunch of babies that used to come up to my door. They'd come up every night, and when she forgot to put food out, 
they would like tap on the glass yeah or the the kit fox would uh poop like <laughs> where she always put the little plate yeah if there wasn't a plate out there the next day they there'd be poop on the on the doorstep right there he was so cute just uh just to let us know he came by left a little something behind it's like hey i was here there wasn't no food we need to talk when we moved out of that house, the kids wanted me to take it. I was like, we cannot take it. No, nah, he was wild. Yeah, I heard that raccoons could be pretty aggressive. All the animals would come like right up to me and not even do anything. She's out there trying to hand feed the deer one time. Tell me they didn't come up to me. They did, but you gotta watch it, man, because they had this one buck, and he would always stand there and watch, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and he was protecting his girls. And I told her, man, if that dude gets a hold of you and goes to working on you, it's gonna be bad. Mary, I can message and tell you. Columbia, I used to feed the rabbit Candies and jelly Good night, sunflower. Now stop looking at the county and the guys can go for all the provisions. I think that is not an issue. Good night, Holly. We have fly flying squirrels in the trees I feed nightly too. They're cute. Yeah, those are awesome. A pet corn snake? No. I'm Bobby good. will not. I don't need snakes. The people or the animals. I don't do them. Nope. Negative. It's not my jam. Two one and Ross attack six four zero on Auburn. It's five I would love to go to Australia, Judy. Hi, Shelly. Had a prairie dog for nine years. His name was Dell. He was the coolest pet ever. He absolutely loved eating Captain Crunch cereal. He had an awesome personality. I miss him. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, it would. He liked Captain Crunch. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, said she gets uh, creeped out by snakes even behind the glass. Yeah, I don't like. I'm not a snake guy. Good morning, Robert. A pet emu. The lemu emu from the commercial. Responsible for 911 is possible overdose, Auburn and Oswald. Auburn and Oswald. Don't want a copy from Bill and Lincoln. Yeah, Bobby doesn't like snakes or spiders, Rocks. 
I don't mind spiders as much as snakes. Me too, Patricia. Yes. She got bit by one. Oh, those are bad. Many years ago, a neighbor had a snake that got out of the aquarium. It was loose for a week. She finally found it and put it back in the aquarium. In the morning, it had tons of babies. They were the size of earthworms. Very creepy. Oof. That is a little creepy. We're in the hospital for it. Yikes. Where were you at when you got bit? See the news story about the guy staying at the Venetian in Las Vegas that got bitten in the testicles by a scorpion that yes. was in his bed. Yes, I seen that. <laughs> He's suing him, which I would too. I mean, but he got tagged on the junk by uh, <laughs> by a scorpion. I bet that hurt. Oh yeah. I'd still be crying. I'm going to check the wall for 105. I should have an E. Edward, check the wall for the Anna Lisa, 12 years old. Where's his mother? Where's the Christy? She said her foot looked like it was going to rot off. The receiver reported that the mother pushed the juvenile. Yeah, cottonmouth, they can kill you. I had a green viper in my boot in Vietnam. I screamed like a little bee. I bet. It's on the traffic. He probably still cries every time he thinks of it. Don't scorpion bites hurt? Yeah, that can be deadly too. I know there's some in Saudi that are deadly. I can't remember which ones they are. I can't remember if it's the white ones or the clear ones. I can't. One of them's deadly. I, I don't mess with none of them. Texas said, heck yeah, like fire. Current on 2015 Honda Local. They have. They have, uh. Scorpions, they have uh, vipers, sand vipers, like pit vipers, and they have those camel spiders. They got all kinds of wild stuff. I stay away from all that. <laughs> Texas 
<laughs> where, Jody, where were you at when you got the? Like, what were you doing? Have you ever seen a camel spider? Yeah. <clears throat> See them all the time. So I have no more contact to go in the past trip. This will go for a minute. That almost could be a story of the cheating husband meeting like mistress and wife found out in front of the family in the bed. Yeah. Yeah. I got bit one time getting wood for fireplace was the worst hurt, worse than any bee sting. Yeah, Julius, my daughter got bit by a brown recluse when she was like, I don't know, a kid. Preteen. That overdose. It was an overdose, Rhonda. It was a man down possible overdose. Oh, I want to come visit your house, Shelly. Fire ants can be deadly? Yeah. Huh. I opened a box of mixed greens and a brown recluse jumped out. No lie. Have you ever been bit by one of those desert sand flies? No. My ear is still messed up from Desert Storm. Yeah, I know. I know. I know where. I know that what they are, but no, I've never been bit by one. Five days kick Hi, Queen. weather like in Saudi right now, babe? Uh, it's not too bad. It's starting to warm up. A little bit. I'll be... Disregard 693 until you have a bag required to go I'll be uh, working quite a bit for the first uh, well, probably the whole time, but for sure for the first couple weeks because we're moving and all that stuff, so it's going to be a lot of work, little sleep, and I'll be sweating, I would imagine. Plus, it's uh, like the day I get in country, Ramadan starts, so everybody's going to be fasting, not drinking water, not eating food, all that stuff, so it's going to be pretty rough. Until the sun goes down, right? Yeah. Have you ever ridden a camel over there? No. I can. 
they're out there by us. They like the Bedouins. They they hurt. They're camel herders. Yeah. And they they set up camp. There's always one around us somewhere. A camp, a Bedouin camp. And they they run their camels all around out there in the desert. go back and see that. Okay. Are they nice or nasty? What's that? I don't know. Greg, are you talking to me or somebody else? Simo said they have an invasion of weaver spiders going up on the east coast. They've gone here by shops from other countries. Um, they build six foot webs and are invaded. What do you want to go see? This memorial thing down here. Oh. I've never seen it. I drive by it all the time. <clears throat> when you got to pack up and move locations, that's a lot of time that you work hard dropping that derrick and everything. Yep. You got to tear it all down. They'll probably have, uh, I'll probably get 40 trucks, maybe 50. Uh, probably 25 low beds and maybe, oh, maybe 35 low beds, depending on how many rigs are moving at the time. But I'll get 20 or 30 low beds and then, uh, the rest will be flat beds. And it'll take me from start to finish probably about 12, 14 days. Is there any way you can take a video on your phone while you're over there and then post it on white tea when you get home? Yeah, I've done that. I just, I don't do a lot over there because I don't find it interesting. But, uh, I know people always say I should. I just don't. What exactly do you do there? I, I manage. I'm a manager for the drilling operation for exploration department. I'm gonna look it up right now, Simo. Yeah, no, Simo, I'm good on those. Was it bumpy, Derek? Hey, Ronald. Can I park here? Uh, you're in red. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Um. I think I can. I don't see no parking or stopping signs. And it's only red right there where that fire hydrant is. I'm pretty sure I can. Attention, west side units, all primary traffic will now be on channel one, all primary traffic, channel one. What street are we on? Truxton. We're gonna, we're gonna waste a little bit of time, guys. Give me a second. I know, okay, Fox, we're going to miss you guys, too. Got a speaker for our union and East Village. Have a 50, we can meet. That's more. Robert 17. Tower over 17. Clear 732H19, UTL. That's more. I think he's going to show you guys this, uh... Kern County World War II Veterans Memorial. 
Bobby's never seen it before. switching yeah yeah definitely you crazy uncle Suspicious man with a bike tampering door handles. No, Cindy, he's a, uh, you wouldn't be able to hear him right now. This is on Truxton and what is that street up there? Oak? Just east of Oak?
Yeah, they're dead quiet, Emo. Do you know who the girl is? We are at Sherto. It didn't look like there was anything. Any label underneath her. George Robert Ida, George Savage, Boy Yellow, Percy Charles. Data Brothers 412, 1987-87. I've drove by that so many times, I never stopped and looked at it. That was awesome, buddy. Thank you for showing. Yeah, so you could continue to call 911 at 5 second half guard. I'll talk to you rest of the L.A. So I'm going to play 8 George Adam, George 646. Obviously, I think it's not three subjects. Some rifles walking up his driveway. Probably not here. Subjects speaking outside of his front door and one so possibly towards the backyard. 8 Karen said she's not anyone in particular. They said they used her with the baby because they also served. Uh, 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 nowhere in the United States for your with your profession don't mean to be nosy just curious why you have to go so far away well if you want to know the real reason it's because I'm not subject to the ups and downs of my industry based off of politics the way the United States is like I can work over there and make a comfortable living for my family for 20 or 30 years if I decide to without never missing a day's work. But if you've ever worked in the oil fields in the United States, you know that you'll have, you know, three to five. You have a three to five good year run working on rigs and and getting a, getting a life established and then the oil fields take a downturn, you know, laid off. and you get laid off and then you ain't got no work. And it, it's too many ups and downs to, you know, try to raise a family. Because you got to go home one day and explain to your family how come you ain't got no job and you ain't got no money. You know what I mean? It's just too hard. So, I work for the largest oil producer on the planet, and it's good. Trust me, there's plenty of things I wish I could change, and, you know, and yeah, I'd love to be able to do the same thing here without having to worry about, you know, getting laid off or anything like that, but... Uh, Chunk's real name is Natalia. Same in the refineries. I was in the inspection department, and it seems like that is the first place they start to cut positions. <clears throat> exactly. And it's all out of, and unfortunately, it's all out of political whim. Let's not talk politics. Well, it, it's not politics. I know, I'm just it's... saying it. I'm going back to the oil fields in Canada.
Anyway, guys, it's midnight. It's slow. We're going to go ahead and call it. I'm going to get home, get some sleep. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us. Hopefully you guys uh, found what we're out here trying to do interesting or entertaining. If you did and you haven't uh, subscribed or followed us on the platforms, please consider doing it. Uh, thank you guys for all the support. Congratulations again on the two t-shirt winners. And thank you for the anonymous donation. We uh, really appreciate it, guys. We will have two more to do tomorrow night, guys. And then if uh, if you guys want to buy a t-shirt, you donate $20 or more, and we'll send you one to one of the pay links. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. You guys have a good night. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Good night, guys. I've been feeling this way for far too long